name is Paul Bewer. I am the owner of 2004 Cedar Crest Lane in Colbrand, Colorado. I am making this short video to illustrate excavation needs on the property. As you can see, there is a rise in the easement road. I would like to widen the road and I'd also like to take the crown off the road using about two feet of, of uh, elevation and direct that material down to the landing pad on the left. As you can see, the drive down to the landing pad is precarious with a sharp angle. I would like to cut that down maybe a foot lower at the start and probably two feet higher at the end and make the uh, drive down less precarious and more sure so that you don't have a problem getting out in bad weather or the difficulty of backing down blind. On previous days I was here with a pick and shovel and wheelbarrow and pulled some soil from the north side of that bank and expanded over to the left where it tumbles over the hill. Certainly that should be done with an excavator. This is another view of the drive down or back down onto the pad. It would be my intention to take three or four feet of bank out, perhaps use retaining blocks or to repurpose the boulders uh, that are collected during the excavation and bank that up again steeper. On the driveway pad there's a sharp drop and this open space down below I would like to put in two 20-foot comexes staggered. Some excavation needs to be done to bring the height down. I would like the top of the connexes to be at about the same level height as the driveway and the lower access drive. Uh, pea gravel will have to be put down and a drain will have to be set on the north edge and then excess material can be put up against the connex uh, in such a way that we have a, a wider parking berm. From the western property line by the neighbor's gate I will put a road through and around the dome going to the lower level where there's a walkout on the dome. That would necessitate building about a nine foot wide, 10 foot wide path, possibly between these two big trees to the right, but most likely the larger tree on the right is going to have to be sacrificed. After the removal of this tree, then cut down and around to the left. This view, looking towards the southeast, shows the approximate location of the dome. A large amount of that will have to be excavated beyond it to the north, east, and west because we're going to have a walkout grade and a concrete wall basement. This view looking directly east shows the grade of the hill. The roadway is going to come through and remove a couple of these smaller trees.
and the fill is going to go over towards the left about center on the picture here and level off that lower area for the connexes. This view shows the large tree on the left that will have to be removed and it shows the approximate elevation where the walkout will begin. And the drive will continue off towards the east. This view shows the county highway on the left, the water tap provided by the city of Colbrand, the property stake marker, which is just in a little shady clump, you'll see a blue post sticking up, and the neighbor's sewer cleanout. I would like to bring the water tap up this way and join up with the sewer tap roughly on the property line and follow that up through a natural opening in trees all the way to the top. At about midway in the picture here, where the open light spot is, is where the sewer line and the water line would sh then share a deep trench and head straight up the hill uh, to the left of that larger tree. That shows part of the gap between the trees. Follow the gap between trees. A little one right there in the middle, I'm afraid, will have to be sacrificed. Follow the gap in the trees. The smaller tree right in the middle, I believe, will have to be sacrificed unless the excavator can get between those two. The large black rock in the uh, background is somewhat of the destination. Looking down the hill. Looking towards the east, this is the approximate location and the walkout elevation at camera level for the connexes. As I pan to the left, you'll see the elevation differential between that and the current pad. You see the dome ropes in the background there. This view is taken from the eastern border boundary line. It shows the elevation differential between the parking pad and where the connexes are going to go, basically at ground level as at eye level there. down the hill. <laughs> 